All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is like the third time I've tried doing this. Um, <laughs> note to self: don't uh, wing it. <laughs> okay, so basically, what I've got here—that's what I'm going to be teaching you to build today. It is a spawn randomizer. Uh, basically, what it does is it gets a player that stood on the middle middle block here. We'll demonstrate it with a lime green wall. Okay, it this is its center coordinates, and then it takes a radius of two. I think it actually is too, yeah. And uh, once I step on here, it's going to put me either on the green side or the red side. So, you know, you choose your teams. So you can see I got thrown over to red. And if I drop down again, green. And green. And green again, you know? It's completely random. Obviously, what you do is you would set this up so that it's off. Okay? Like, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, had to do that, didn't it? Right, basically, you smash the car, okay? You get all your players to come and stand on here. And then you, what you could do is you could replace the at P with at R, which is a random player, as it says here. Target random player uh, at the coordinates X6, which is the X coordinate of the lime green block, Y coordinate of the lime green block, the Z coordinate of the lime green block. It also defines a radius of 3. Uh, then it would send them to that coordinate, which is one of the blocks, and this is the other. Okay? So you'd have all of your players stood here, and you go, okay, I'm going to randomize the teams. You come in, you chuck your car on, the admin would do this. Or you'd have a circuit to start it up, and then you could do those. And then everyone would just get chucked in between these two. And you could do with what you wish with them. So anyway, let's, uh, let's see if we can... Well, let's recreate this, but obviously a little bit better, shall we? All right, so going to use these same command blocks uh, because obviously you know, they're configured to that spawn platform. You'd obviously need to configure this to your own spawn platforms and obviously you can make them look much better. Uh, you're not restricted. This is just a bare bones redstone. Okay, so what we can do is I'll grab our building blocks. Uh, let's load them. I love uh, TMI for this particular reason. I can still hear minecart noises. I'm sorry if you can too. Okay, so what we do is we put the delay a little bit longer on each of them since minecarts are slightly buggy. Uh, I don't really know why, but they are. It's slightly weird. Okay, so let's get the rails we require, which are these three. Don't need the button right now. So detect a rail, powers the car above it. Uh, we'll put a power rail here, and we'll put a power rail here for the time being. So I'll link that to that up there. Put a detector rail here. Uh, I'm going to need to link that. Rails are really awkward to link, but that should do it. Then you can just bring them around like that. All right. So now what you could do is, uh, well, well, we'll we'll pick one side as the R toggle. All right. That will be on permanently. You can use a redstone torch if you wanted to, but it doesn't you know lag as much. So what we'll do is we'll lower this down. Take this out a second. Uh, because it's going to be our turn on slash off thingy. Let's get that out of the way. All right, um, and that a second probably. My carts like to just stick to anything. Okay, so that'll go like that. Then we'll loop around here. Then we'll get shot back up. Now this one will be on, but this one will be on a switch. So you can come along and you'd have the admin control room and you'd be like, okay, I'm going to start the team randomization and you click the switch and then they get randomized. Or you can have it so that the players are able to do it, depending on how your map works. It's a multiplayer map, which obviously this is going to be for. And yeah, or you could, you know, have a puzzle map where you go, okay, uh, pick a random puzzle to start and you can go Chong! to each of them. Right, so what you do now is the minecart will start uh, on here. And obviously it will sit there like that. So when you turn it on, it's going to go around, start warping them to the spawns. And when you're done, you just flick it off, and it'll park up there. Because it's on an angle, you can obviously uh, switch it off. Minecraft physics for you. Okay, so there's that for you. Uh, I hope that helped. Um, if you're looking for something like that, obviously you can make this even more random by, or if you've got say three spawn points. Uh, actually, I'll demonstrate how you can add another spawn point before we finish the video because it's shortly. Um, also, uh, more information about the channel while I set this little zone up. Um, I've decided that my YouTube channel is no longer going to be 
purely orientated around my let's play. I'm going to do a lot more of the this type video and just record the let's play whenever I can feel like it because I'm kind of glooming at the fact that the let's play isn't really going anywhere. So I, I don't need to do that. Um, okay, so this is 1.3. Let's get the chord that's showing. Uh, so this is 820 is the only one I need to remember since I already have the command copied. So what I can do is I can grab this, chuck it here, command block, paste the command I already had, replace that with R. Um, I did explain this, but yeah, okay, so we need to change this to 800 and, well, no, this one, 820, this is the end coordinates, but TP, uh, I get the X coordinate, uh, this is where I'm going to centralize my search, basically, is what it's thinking. So I'm going to centralize my search at 6, 65, 814, then I'm going to give it a radius of 3 and I'm going to teleport the random player here. So now, if we flick this on, we've got three spawn points we can jump to. So now we go and step in here. Oh, it's actually sent me up in the air because I didn't change this. Uh, 65, there we go. And as you can see, yellow. Red. 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 It is completely random. You know, okay, we're getting a lot of red. Mm. Obviously, more people on here, it will be much different, but let me give it a little drop down there. Now you get green. Yeah. Yellow, red, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and you can, you know, lay this out wherever the hell you want, and it will, you know, change like that. It's amazing because you can also give this uh, multiple uses. You can get people to go into here. You can warp them to the red team, which they've done. Then when they're at the red team, you can do another warper machine, uh, which kind of armor armorizes them. Basically, it sets their prefix team. Uh, you can set teams by setting player's experience level. So let's, uh, you know, I'll give you a quick demonstration of that, then I'll finish the video off. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I think it's slash XP. I don't know what the, uh, let's see what we can do. Um, XP, yeah, slash. By the way, I hit tab to find that out. Slash XP. Okay, so slash XP or XP at P. You can get the radius of the blocks and whatnot. Uh, one. I don't know if that will work. I don't really know. I'm not messed with it. It's an experiment for me as much as this will be for you guys when you try it out. So let's see. Um, Yeah, it's because I have a slash XP JM3. Oh, I need to do a number than at P. All right. I keep forgetting it's the other way around. Number. Okay. Uh, let's make it a bit more different. So obviously you can make this change the levels and stuff. And there you go. Every time I click this, I'm getting experience. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you can, you know. Detect a player's level by, I believe it's, uh, you know, when you're doing the at P and you do L equals 314. All right. Let's, let's make it say my name. Say. Okay. Uh, sorry for the randomness of this little bit, but JM3. Now, if I were to change this to 312 doesn't detect anyone so it's not going to do it basically what you can do is you can go all right who's on the red team and it will say everybody with the uh in at a l equals blah 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 all right so uh leave a suggestion in the comments of what you what you would uh, like to see as the next episode but if i don't get any which i probably won't we're probably going to go along and try uh armories which will give you kits and uh well Basically, you'll be warped into a position, given some stuff, and then warped into a new position, into your starting point. So, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.